There is an item hidden somewhere in the server that supposedly holds infinite power, with the ability to kill anyone in an instant and close the server forever. If the wrong person gets a hold of it, the server will be left on the brink of destruction, so I need to make sure that it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. One problem though, the hunt for this item actually started yesterday and everyone's already trying to get it, so I need to find out what's happening and fast. Luckily, I was able to get a gist. Apparently, there are seven fragments scattered all across the world that can only be obtained by decrypting mysterious messages from an entity named the Prophet. Every fragment is correlated with one of the seven deadly sins in a different event that has occurred on the server. When all of the seven fragments get put together, they'll supposedly form this super powerful item. Since I'm late, three of the fragments had already been found. Pride, which represented a fight that Mugum had against Silvasaur and Dabby Cat. Gluttony, which represented when Clown Pierce stole all of Mugum's items. And Lust, which represented Silvasaur and Dabby Cat up. <laughs> At the moment, Mugum's team has all three of the fragments. This is bad because Mugum in the past has been known to cause conflict and destruction. So if he ends up getting every fragment, the server will fall into chaos. But I can't let that happen. So I logged on and was immediately welcomed with this message. One of the first, yet it was never completed. The biggest shame was the owner's successors who lacked the diligence to finish what he started. Guys, guys, Origin oh, Maisie. We're one of the first people to find out how to get multiple gems. Multiple back. gems. Yes. <gasps> yeah, it's that's true. What I'm at. The first idea was that it could be two X members named All Rich and Maisie, who had found a glitch that broke the plugin and allowed them to get multiple of these items called gems, even when you're supposed to be limited to one. A more recent team had also found a glitch like this, so that's what the successors part could be referencing. With nothing else in mind, we all decided to go to their base and check it out. Uh, yeah, that's I'm so going to the ice base right now. Dig oh, if you must. Oh, yeah, definitely there. I mean, it says dig if you must, but like where? Everyone. Owns one. It's crucial. The gem. The thing is, All Rich and Maisie oh, really? came with the gem dude. The game breakers did what All Rich and Maisie couldn't. Let's go like back up. Everything, Everything is set, is but dig if you must. Okay, just dig, just dig. Literally, just dig. Oh, oh, come here, come here, come here. Look, look at this, look at this, look at this. Come here, come here, come here. Wait, that's it. Dig it up, dig it up, dig it up. I'm just playing. Nah, you suck, bro. Yeah. After looking for a while, we couldn't find anything, and the prophet kept telling us to think further and learn from our mistakes. We had no clue what this meant until- Oh, we found it, we found it, we found it! Apparently, it was in a completely different spot, and Mugum had missed it six times, even though there was an arrow pointing at it. It ended up being at a base that belonged to an old member named Manko. To get the fragment, we all had to work together to complete a base that Manko had never finished. With this information, we all came together to build this little fort. I thought it looked pretty nice, but this prophet guy decided he didn't like it and made us start all over. This whole thing took about an hour to do. But eventually, we had finished and the fragment was about to drop. Oh, I know. Oh! Okay, I don't know how I wasn't told this, but a whole meteor just hit the ground. And the fragment is supposedly in there. So let's see how this goes. Oh, oh my god. This is mine. Never mind. Is it gone? Oh. This was great. Dominoko, one of our team members, had gotten the fragment and given it to Murfin, and no one had any idea it was us. With that fragment secured, the next clue was released. Envious to the other's belongings, they would go to great lengths to get their hands on it. The trade was insane. This could mean one of two things. When Wembu had paid whaleable $500 for the dragon egg, or when McClutch did a trade with Mugum for the netherite. The thing is, I have no clue where the Wembu trade took place, so I'm gonna hope it's about the netherite. It's, it's, I found it. Yeah, it's over here. I think it's Eric. Oh, yeah, what? Yeah, we're just we're just uncovering it. Uncover it. Show your jet. Mugum, you gotta give us the netherite. Mugum, no, that is not. That is not. Mugum, you gotta give the. What do we have to give? Luckily, I was right, and all we had to do was donate some items, and the next meteor was about to strike. Oh my goodness! Oh, the items are still there. Are they actually? Oh what? No. Wait, someone? No, no, I don't want. Okay, wait, I got something. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you got it. Can I have it, please? please Yo, I haven't got anything, okay? I gotta go for some. I got in first. Nah, 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 nah. Let Ryan right, have it. A player named Ryan Stuff had gotten the fragment, but he unfortunately had to go to school. Because of this, he was forced to drop the fragment and give it to someone else. The only question, who was gonna get it? If you're gonna have to leave the item, if you give it to the little Give me a second, I'll be back. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, somebody find the book. Somebody find the book. Oh okay, yeah. Try to find the book. Okay, somebody actually give this man time since he is like getting ready for school. Oh, he's running. Oh, okay. running. Okay. After, yeah. after. Can I just give it to someone? Like, guys, I'm come just on, saying... I can go to school and I have a lot of time to think about this. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. no. I don't. No. 
You have to give it. It's important. So you have to give it to someone. This Guys, I'm just saying, Muggum's like hunting down. It's this whole of. Uh, you can still catch. You can still catch. Guys, oh. I'm just saying, poor it's Ryan stuff is getting hunted down. Bro, Ryan. are you actually hunting? Yeah, I feel like we should, hunting yeah, we, we should do stuff. stuff. Unfortunately, we had lost another fragment to Muggum's team. If this continues, they would definitely end up getting the powerful item and cause the downfall of the server. We just had to hope that we could hold on to the one fragment we had and possibly get the others that are still out there. And lucky for us, a new hint was about to drop. Past the gateway, the place that greed was born, tainting bliss with greed, this iteration would be forever torn. And oh wait, is it about the, bro, the end fight, bro? The end fight, yeah. The only thing this could have been referencing was the end fight, where the only set of netherite on the server had been created and started a wave of greed and conflict that was still going on today. The thing is, it's impossible to get into the end. Earlier in the season, a player destroyed all the portals, making the end permanently closed off. Or at least, that's what I thought. So, for the past three months on the bliss smp i have been trying to figure out a way to get into the end and after 150 dollars utilizing an awesome glitch muggum no way oh, no shot let's go yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. We have the way to bring back the end, but it's gonna cost you something. Who has the artifact? Someone in this room has it, I know that for a fact. Look it, I guess somebody fess up because these guys are just gonna hold us hostage here, bro. Now hold on, if someone doesn't confess in the next five minutes, we're just gonna start going down our list of suspects. All right, five minutes on the clock. We didn't know what to do. We could either give Muggum the item, losing our only chance of saving the server, or keep it and cause Muggum's team to hunt down every single player until they found out who had it. But that's when we realized something. Dominoko had given the fragment to Murfin, and Murfin wasn't at the Two stronghold. Minutes. In fact, he wasn't on the server at all. Apparently, he had left minute. a couple minutes prior to go get pizza, and he wouldn't be back for another 10, ten minutes. Nine, we couldn't even hand over the eight, fragment if we wanted to. Seven, With no clue six, what to do, we were panicking five, and spamming four, the group chat trying to three, think of a plan. Two, but unfortunately, one. we had run out of time. I'll screen share, I'll screen share, I'll screen share. I don't, I don't have, have it, it. I, don't I don't have it, I don't have it. Hey, oh, it doesn't matter. Damn, I'm about to win this bloodbath. Walk off the water. Walk off the water. Walk off the It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Walk off the water. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, bro, bro, I don't have it, I don't have it, I don't have it, I don't have it, bro. I don't have it. I can screech I can screech I don't have it, bro. Chill. Oh, it ain't about that. It's about to in a message. There's nothing I can do. I can't believe this, bro. Oh my god. Are you, you're actually kidding. You guys are actually kidding. Game breakers, we're gonna have two people guarding the uh, obsidian platform with punch bows. We're gonna get the meter. Okay, okay, back to this room. Okay. Let's do it. Build it in one. Whoa, I'm not gonna really place him on. <laughs> Bro, what is this guy? I think he's doing. Is he in open? Guard, guard the obsidian platform. We just gotta wait for the prophet's instructions now. Now we had another issue. Muggum's team was guarding the end and they weren't letting anyone in. But that's when either the best or worst possible thing happened. The prophet said that everyone needed to be in the end to continue. Muggum's team said they would allow a temporary truce until the meteor struck, but trying to go into the end was still a huge risk. For all I know, they could be lying straight through their teeth and kill me the second I go through. But with no other plan, I decided to test my luck. Luckily, I didn't die, and all we had to do was kill the dragon, which we did surprisingly fast, and now, wait for the next meteor to strike. Ah, speed oh, run! Oh, Damn! Imagine the netherite, like, spawns in. Oh, here's the prophet symbol. Wait, is it gonna spawn a meteor and just blow up the end? What's the oh, sign? God. What's the sign? Oh, wait, yeah, wait. Wait, yeah, what if we pull it to the hole? Oh! Oh my gosh. I thought my gym disappeared. There goes the end island, that's wraps. Bro, Ryan got it, Ryan got it. He didn't get it. Wait, who's guarding? Who's guarding? Bro, I have yeah. Yeah, yeah, wait, we need the book. We need the book. Where's the book? Wait, let's find out. Yeah, it's good. Oh, Will, bro, bro, stop being an ox. Stop, that's a QB, MGG. No, 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 no. Yo, guys, why are you doing this? Yeah, that's a QB. Just do it. Hey, we're just trying to get a screen. Bro! I'm trying to get out the fragment. I'm trying to get out the fragment. Cause you guys are critting me out, bro. Come on. I mean, drop the fragment then. 
Bro. And nobody lives. Yeah, okay, Rylan, you can't be surprised we're doing this then. Keep it I mean, locked yeah. off. Yeah, make sure Rylan, yeah, make sure Rylan doesn't get there. Make sure Rylan does not get away, bro. Just, just where's the book? Just where's the book? I don't care about fighting. Just where's the book? Oh, I'm gonna read this on my own and then I'll. Oh, that would have been yeah. bad. You wanna you send worry? send us screenshots? Careful, you're trying to make a run for it. Who is? Oh, you missed. Okay, let me go. Wait, 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 wait. Do I break the freaking thing? Let me see. Do like this? Is like it's called? Tell anybody yet? Bro, just read the whole thing. Like Ron, drop it! You want to progress or not? Bro, we can like progress without this! Over. What do you mean? That's I mean, you know we're not going to. Bro, oh. re-enable that! Dude. Oh. There's nowhere to run. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Are you guys lagging or something like this? But what is this? That's just... That yeah. progress. We have to progress one way or another. So, that's like... How about you don't kill Riley? We can, we can progress. Or not leave it. You know that, right? You're just lying to yourself saying you need to miss it. Yeah, yeah, you but... Yeah, no, oh, don't mind that. Oh, wait, no, you're gonna no kill No one's me. leaving. Yeah, no, no one's leaving. Oh, Come down to me and start digging. Rylan's in this area. I had somehow escaped, with him still thinking I was somewhere underground. All I had to do now? Make it out of the end alive. Yeah, easier said than done. You know what is easy though? Subscribing! Yay! This is actually my first video, so I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Please bro, I'm begging. Please, please. <clears throat> Sorry. Where was I? Oh yeah, the only way I would be able to escape is if I obtained a specific item called the Puff Gem. You might be wondering what that is. You see, this server is the Bliss SMP, where everyone is assigned 1 out of 7 gems that all have different abilities. Well, everyone's supposed to have one. You'll see what I mean later. The Puff Gem has an ability that allows me to push my opponents away if they get close to me. If I could get to the end portal and push everyone away, I would have just the right amount of time to break the obsidian covering the portal and get out alive. Now, to get another gem, I need to use a trader, which switches your gem with any other random one. Unfortunately, I don't have any traders, but luckily my boy Murfin pulled up and gave me some. Thanks Murfin. Usually, it isn't that difficult to get the gem you want, but this specific time, luck was not on my side. It took me 12 tries. That doesn't sound like a lot, but because traders have a 30 second cooldown, this ended up taking so long that by the time I finally got the puff gem, I was told that Mugum's team had already left the end. So I spent all that time trying to get a gem that was now useless. But nonetheless, I was able to make it out of the end alive, still with the fragments, so you know, you win some, you lose some. But what I didn't know is Mugum's team left the end for a reason. I leaked the stash, I leaked the stash. I leaked no, the you stash. can't be for real, you oh can't be God. for real. So, I didn't know this till now, but apparently Mugum let e Quarter out of the end under the one condition that he screen shared while doing so. You know, in order to make sure that E didn't have the fragment. Makes sense, right? Well, when E went through, he had spawned at a secret vault that he and some other of our team members had, and accidentally pressed F3, revealing the exact location of it. Mugum's team, being the greedy little boys they are, immediately ran to try and steal it all. Ian Murfin, knowing the vault was compromised, tried to salvage what they could while burning everything else so that the other team could couldn't use it. Luckily, they were able to make it out with some of the most important stuff, and with it, we decided to create a new stash somewhere else, and needless to say, I was shocked when I saw what was in it. What? Dude, oh my gosh! You're stacked! Oh, look at this oh. nether- What the f Yeah, yeah, bro, look at the nether- what the <laughs> <laughs> the Dude, choker of he has is actual wild, stacks of no, ancient no, no, debris. No, no, no. Knowing this was minutes away from belonging to the enemy team, I knew we had dodged a bullet. Like, have you seen this netherite? Like, dang, okay. Nonetheless, we got geared up and went to spawn for the final fragment. Should we go in this and like spy on them from a distance? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Right, guys, right. We're good. This reminds me of Game Patches, bro. Bro, good. Game Patches Part 2. It, it literally is like the same thing. Go, game Patches, Game Patches. This time, we're not gonna take a L, bro. I'm leaving. Bro. Okay, now I'm gonna let you. Alright, let's go. Go, go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Woo. Like, I'm not saying we should give it to Mugum, but I'm saying, like, what are we gonna do? Like, cause we're just gonna be stuck in an infinite stalemate. Like, they showed already that they have absolutely no intentions of caving in. They're willing to throw this entire thing off course just to yeah, keep the fragments to Mugum. But he's given every single person on the server a reason to hate him. There's no reason we shouldn't all unite to just kill him. I need to relog. My game is dying. So. 
While I was trying to get it to spawn, my game was dying. My router decided it wanted to try and do a backflip, but got distracted by a bird flying it by, and while midflip realized, wait, it's I don't know how to backflip, so it what tried to stop, but then remembered that it was too far in to back out now, and while trying to figure out what to do- Yeah, it took me a little bit, but I got there. Wait, where are you guys? No, oh, what? Who is that? Who is that? Go backwards if you're island. Okay, oh, yeah, no, you're island. Island. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shh. Who just fell? Who just fell? Oh, I'm not Don't get seen, don't get seen. So, where is, is the thing? Yeah, near the portal. It's under the moss next to the portal. Sand this corner, sand this corner. Oh, oh, I already bugged. That was natural. I was no, about no, to no, say, like, who just used a speed bro. storm up here, bro? Just wait, 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 wait. Who's that spawn? They're all there. They're like all there. Oh, that, oh, I was careful. Gosh, I'm getting so nervous, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Mago's flying up. Nova's flying up. Everyone in the corner for repotting. Oh, shit. No! heck? No, no, no. Did you jump? If they're nearby, they can hear that. Okay, we might be screwed. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? That's Dabby Cat. Oh, Dabby. I feel like Dabby definitely just saw me. That's someone behind me. Yeah, someone with the Elytra. Yeah, it's Silva Sword. They found yeah. us? If Oh, oh, they're there. They run, 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 run. They're up here, they're up here, they're up here. They're scattered, though. Scattered, though. They're, they're chasing me, brother. Oh, I see them. Oh, my gosh. Bro, go to spawn, go to spawn. Mine it, someone mine it, someone mine it. Okay. Found it. I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it. I'm covering, I'm covering, I'm covering, I'm covering. I'm covering. I'm covering. I'm covering. Okay, it's it's uncovered. Gather around the meteor location. We should join their call. We should join their call. We should join their call. Before we start fighting, before we start fighting, let's let's do this. We might not have to fight. Game breaks chat. Game breaks group chat. No, no, no! Don't go there yet. What are you doing? Like, okay, we don't have to fight if there's no reason to. I feel like this one is completely up to the players. There's no clear instructions. There's nothing. So we can have a good ending. I mean, we can we can end this. We can just come together, right? No, the thing is, if we end this off peacefully, legit everything we've done was for nothing. Like, no, I don't know. What do you mean, pretty much? No, bro, hello. No, it, no, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I've never been a fan of your safety rails, rails, bro. Really, Mugum? I couldn't really? tell. That's crazy. <laughs> That's wild. Guess. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I really hate a peaceful ending. See, I like where Will's coming hate from. That. Like, it'd be fine. I like, hate a peaceful ending. All right, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. Look at me, everybody. It's Congo Lion time. Oh, no. Yeah. As much as I loved doing the Congo Lion, I was confused. I had thought this whole time that all the Game Breakers wanted was chaos, destruction, and bloodshed. But the first thing that they bring up is peace. People like Silvasaur, Quackitus, and Nova, who had been on Mugum's team for months, all said they wanted peace. Even Will, Mugum's right-hand man and the original creator of Game Breakers, said that he wouldn't mind a peaceful ending. Maybe the Game Breakers weren't as bad as I thought. Maybe I was wrong about them the whole time. Maybe there was only one person who wanted this violence. Maybe there was only one person causing all this bloodshed. Maybe it was the only person who didn't join in on the conga line. But nonetheless, it didn't matter. Mugum already has four fragments, and well, we have three. Yeah, this voiceover took so long that the meteor had already struck, and Pookie had gotten the fragment. But either way, there was no chance we were going to be able to get all of Mugum's fragments. You saw what he did earlier. He'd kill everyone to get the fragments. It's always been the same. Mugum wants power, he's gonna get it. He'd betray everyone and anyone if he had the chance to get a sliver of power. And now, he was once again gonna get that power. Just like every time in the past, he would end up getting his minions to do his dirty work while he takes over and destroys the server. And there was nothing I could do about it. But just because I can't do anything doesn't mean no one can do anything. If we have a final team <clears throat> fight here, and if we win, where do all those fragments go? One person's gonna have it, and I know damn well that if those wire fragments go to our team, they're going straight to Mugum. For a while now, honestly, I feel like I've been living in Mugum's shadow. Uh-oh. He joined my team, and then he kind of took it from me. The Game Breakers was my thing, and he took that from me. So you know what? I think that for the first time, I think I want to stand my ground. Mugum, I challenge you to a 1v1. Well, I don't have all of them yet. You don't, but I'm okay with a peaceful ending. You are very clearly not. And so I think that, you know, if I held them, they'd be more receptive to letting this server end in a way that is not total anarchy and bloodshed. And I think I know exactly where we're gonna do it. Somebody build me another portal. Meet me at Fort Will. Birds. This was perfect. Will had challenged Mugum to a 1v1, and the winner would get the fragments from their team. If Will wins the duel, the server would be saved. Mugum would be defeated, and we could have our peaceful ending. 
then again, Mugum has been known to be the most powerful player in almost never loses. Will, on the other hand, not so much. But luckily, Will has one huge advantage. Remember when I had mentioned that everyone was supposed to have one gem and that I was going to come back to that later? Yeah, now it's later. The team that Mugum and Will are on, or at least were on, was called the Game Breakers, and they called themselves that for a reason. They had found numerous bugs and exploits and abused all of them to get an advantage over all the other players. One of these exploits allowed the Game Breakers to get multiple gems. This all happened months ago though, so most of the Game Breakers had their second gems removed by now. Everyone except Mugum and Will. But that's not the only exploit they found. They also found a way to attack extremely fast, making it so that they could use an axe, which does a lot more damage, exactly like a sword. All of the Game Breakers had lost this exploit over the past couple months, except one person, Will. With this ability, Will has a much higher chance of defeating Mugum and ending his anarchy. The chances of Will winning aren't 100%. In fact, I'd say his chances are still pretty 50-50. But with the duel beginning, all I could do was hope that Will could finally be the one to end Mugum's reign of terror. No, Will, Will, okay, what are you doing this for, like, genuinely? Now listen, we're both immortal, you know this, we're not gonna die. The same way it doesn't sit right with me that Dabby Cat and Silversaur are on the team because of what they did to me, the same way I feel some type of way about that, I feel some type of way about you, man. I feel like the second that you don't need me anymore, I think it's just starting. Yo! Wait, Will's so yeah. strong! Jesus! Okay? This is a waste of resources, uh, like genuinely. I've got resources to yeah. Dude, Will, if you talk all that. No, like, I'm just waiting to get this opinion to see someone like that. Well, I'm not gonna kill that. I don't really mind who does. It's just. I'm not gonna die to you. Why, because you don't believe that I could kill you? You said that earlier. You said it in jest, but honestly, I think there was an air of truth to it. This is just gonna go on forever, man. That's what I'm yeah. saying! No, I wanna, I wanna There's see There's no point in this! The same as you stall his pants. Well, you're nothing without your attributes. Nobody realizes that. Now that even if I lose here, I've made that point myself that I don't need to be teamed with the strongest player on the server. You do need exploits though. Yeah, but if I lose those, I'm okay. You said no restocking was allowed. Yeah, no restocking. Alright, in that case. Is this guy for real? No, wait, what? You can't take me? You're yeah, fearless what? leader, my friends. You gonna run away? Actually, I mean, you, are we allowing restocking or? No restocking. All right then. I right, bless SMP. Get his ass. <laughs> Goodbye. Mugum had ran. Now this might seem like a bad thing, but this was a huge win. Mugum had never ran from a fight before, so the fact that Will was able to make Mugum back off was amazing. I'm not trying to be rude, but I barely expected Will to last a couple seconds, let alone beat him. And hey, even though Mugum may have ran, this showed me that this server still has hope and can be saved. But to save the server, we kinda gotta take down the person that's, you know, already on the other side of the world. And let's be honest, we're not gonna catch this guy. He's basically moving at the speed of light. But lucky for us, two players came forward to help out. Okay, if you guys think that we are the ones to blame for all this mess, we'll be the ones to take charge against Muggo. He owes something to us, and I owe you. On okay. that, yeah. I owe you. Wait, so what are we gonna ask him to do? Are we gonna ask him to, like, come to a location, or what? We're gonna ask him to drop the artifact. Dabby Cat and Silversword had offered to talk with Mugum and negotiate a deal with him. And you know, little fun fact, Silversword and Dabby Cat have actually done a pretty similar thing like this before. Quick Bliss hasn't be history session. So ironically enough, this actually involves trying to kill Mugum. It was a bright and sunny day. Me and Dom had jumped Mugum and somehow managed to kill him. Eventually, we got Mugum in a spawn trap while he was moments away from getting death banned. Only problem, Mugum was logged off. Obviously, Mugum wasn't gonna log back on when there's 30 guys right outside of his logout spot. So Silverstorm and Debbie had stepped up and offered to negotiate with him. And when Mugum logged on, they would kill him instantly. Now, what do you think Silverstorm and Debbie Cat actually did? A. Stick with the plan and kill Mugum immediately. B. Completely fail to kill Mugum and get dropped. C. Decide that out of all the other options, the best one would be betraying everyone to save the arrogant, egocentric, boastful, malicious, apathetic, aggressive, hostile, belligerent, self-centered, stubborn, obnoxious waste of space who had been a villain and enemy to everyone just because... <clears throat> or D. Mugum never logs on. I'll give you a second to guess. The correct answer is A. Nah, I'm lying, it was C.
I don't know why they decided that that was going to be a good idea. But it's C. But, but hey, but hey, it's been a while. So, you know, surely they've learned from their mistakes, right? <laughs> right? Oh, it's true, bro. Don't he's right here, bro. Wait, wait, he's here. What? He's, 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 he's here. Wait, what the heck? Let's all kill him. Why would Let's all kill, him. kill him right now. It doesn't, he's right there. It doesn't, you can't just... Hey, 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 guys, 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 why guys. Don't... No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. On the signal. On the signal. Go ahead. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Oh, oh, they're fighting, they're fighting! Yeah, they're gonna miss. Yeah, people, trust, trust everyone. Trust. I'm over here. I'm right. Wait, what? Wait, Dabby, what are you, bro? What the hell? Dabby betrayed? Oh, Dabby betrayed. Of course Dabby's betraying. It's Silver Sword! It's Silver Sword! Freaking Dabby, bro! Alright, and only- Yeah, I remember Silver Sword's like, like Dude, Silver and Dabby are just being menaces. They're just being ops. Yeah, no, Who is hitting you? Dabby, Dabby. Yeah, oh, it's Silver and Dabby. Wait, where is he? Where did he go? Get away. He is, he is, he is. He's coming away. Don't let him, don't let him. He's holding a totem now. Dad. Oh, no, he's good, good. Huh? I hit him with sauce, I hit him with sauce. I hit him with like three daggers. Oh, 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 yes. oh, that was, that was, that was. Yes! Oh yes. He's curling, he's curling, he's curling. Bro, I lost y'all. Alright, I see, he got hit, he got hit. He's trying no, to run. He's away, okay. Dude, no, he's he's getting rid of the dash. Is he using a light here? He is, he is. Oh, okay. oh he, he just he just flew away. Did he get away? Oh, God damn it, bro. God damn it. Dude, what do we do? Muggum ran again. Now the first time felt pretty good, but now it was just getting repetitive. I mean, we've been here for over six hours and this thing is still going on. If Muggum keeps running, there's no knowing how much longer this will take. And I don't know about you, but I don't really want to spend all day and night trying to catch a running question mark. And here's the thing, even if we do catch up to him, which is already going to be pretty hard, he has so many hearts that killing him is going to be nearly impossible. Okay, I just now realized that I never mentioned this, but if you've been paying attention, you might have noticed how Muggum and Will have 20 hearts. Yeah, the Game Breakers found a way to get that as well. So if you've been wondering how Muggum hasn't died even with the whole server on him, that's probably why. But still, what are we gonna do? It's not like Muggum's ever just gonna give up the exploits. Okay, All bro. exploits are gone. No, no, I might take the fight. I stand corrected. Okay, that works. Muggum agreed to have a final fight as long as all Game Breaker exploits were removed. I mean, personally, I would not have done that because the exploits were like the only thing keeping this man alive, but hey, worse with me. All we have to do now is take this deal and Muggum loses all of his attributes. But then that would mean that I would have to give up mine. No, that's the thing. If Even if you lose your attributes, you have all of us. Like, like, Muggum has no one. That's true, bro. Can I you have like a whole team. Staff. Okay, I'm considering mm. it. It's, it's, it's yeah. a hard yeah. choice. Please, let me go for a second. Well, you needed those attributes because people saw you as weak, right? And you didn't really have anyone you could trust. Like, your entire your entire server has been betrayed by everyone, me included. But you have people now, and you don't need those exploits anymore yeah. because you have us instead. I think maybe you guys, you guys might be right. Matt, you know, maybe I don't need the attributes to be strong. You feel me? Muggum, I feel like you should do it first because we have so many people here. No, I'll do it first, but like, trust me, if like you guys don't do it, you guys aren't catching up to me ever. Oh, oh, he died, he died! died. Alright, well, now it's your end of the bargain, Will. Whenever you're ready. Well, I am happy to call you a teammate. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, the team that caused the biggest divide in Bliss SMB history was gone. As happy as I wanted to be that the game breakers were finally out of the picture, there was still one more thing that we needed to do to ensure that this never happens again. Kill Muggle. Yo, we all come from different backgrounds, WFB, Astral Divinity, Game Breakers, wherever we're from, it doesn't matter anymore. All that matters is that little man over there who thinks he owns the server, it's time for him to die. Oh, it's the moon. Oh, it's the Nah, he's harder than me. He still doesn't know who has the tiger. Guys, be careful, bro. Get him over! Oh my god. Get him over! Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Let's go! Yes! It's just a game of waiting. He's, he's, he's got at him. Put him down. He's got at least he had one. Uh oh. That's oh, what he's over here, he's over here, he's, he's over here, bro. Wait, is he gonna go to the end? Wait, what? Wait, they have no. end portals, remember? No, shot, he's gonna bring this up, this fight to oh, the end, dude. No, no that means it's gonna be impossible. Negative 1k, negative 1k, it's around there, bro. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like, freaking on the ice. 
Negative one kit, negative one kit, bro. I don't see it. Dude, go, go left, go left. Left? Go left. Where? <gasps> no! I see the portal! Oh, God. Like, I think he went through it. He did, he did. I saw him. Oh, someone with someone my life gems, uh, give them some extra hearts and hold a totem. Hold that, bro. Um, good stuff. Where is that? Where is that? Yeah, I don't want to get that over here. He gets in like four hearts to me! I know, that's why. Nice. Huh? He actually did it! He actually did it! Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, he's restocking. He's restocking. Oh, for like 30 seconds straight, bro. Don't run, 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 don't After over four months of Mugum's Anarchy, his reign of terror finally came to an end. There was just one more thing left to do. Create the item that everyone has been fighting over. Alright, ready? Three, two, one, go. It didn't work, guys. <laughs> this guy! Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, what? What? Whoa, what are you doing? Whoa, what the frick? That's cool. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 oh my god, hey, they're combining. Oh, who's the nitty? Guys, move, 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 move. Let's just see it happen. Oh, 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 all of us. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Hold on. Did you get it? I want to see what it looks like. Who gets to see it? Oh my god. He's one of the guys. He's one of the Alright, who does he have to kill to get the fight? Oh my god. Muggle, you so 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 the golden gem had been created. It was designed to cause chaos. I mean, with the ability to have everyone's health at once, shoot crazy powerful beams, and steal other people's gems, it's more than obvious. But even with all this power, we decided that using it would be the worst thing we could do. We all wanted peace, and using this gem would only lead to a path of destruction. So with this in mind, the gold gem went unused and would forever stay this way. As we all agreed to line up for one final screenshot, I realized that there, it didn't matter what team you were on, it didn't matter what you had done, and it didn't matter who you were. We could all be peaceful and spend time together. Sure, the people I was standing next to had been plotting and trying to kill me for the past 8 months, but now, it didn't matter. None of it mattered. We could all be friends. There didn't have to be violence and bloodshed. As simple as it sounds, I kind of forgot that this was possible. Ever since I joined the server, it had been constant conflict. There was never just a moment to relax and be friends. And now, in that moment, I wondered if maybe things just went a little bit differently. It could have always been this way.